dear learners welcome the world around us is made up of tiny units of matter called atoms how these atoms are joined together to form substances they form stable chemical substances by means of a chemical bond a chemical bond is the force of attraction that holds atoms or ions together in a molecule the major four types of chemical bonds are covalent ionic metallic and hydrogen bond today let us learn about covalent bond with examples a covalent bond is a chemical bond that involves the mutual sharing of electron pairs between atoms these electron pairs are known as shared pairs or bonding pairs this type of bonding occurs between two same elements or different elements usually each atom contributes one electron to form a pair of electrons that are shared by both atoms they have stable balance of attractive and repulsive forces between atoms atoms will covalently bond with each other atoms in order to gain more stability the stability attains as outermost shell of an atom has a complete octet or duplet in case of hydrogen namely noble gas configuration there are two types of covalent bond one is non polar covalent bond another one is polar covalent bond non polar covalent bond if a bond formed between two like atoms then it is known as non polar covalent bond since difference of electronegativity is zero therefore both atoms attract electron pair equally and no charge appears on any atom and the whole molecule becomes neutral example hydrogen nitrogen fluorine and chlorine molecules polar covalent bond a covalent bond formed between two different atoms is known as polar covalent bond example hf and hcl let us discuss some examples consider the formation of hydrogen molecule hydrogen atom has one electron in its valence shell and its atomic number is 1 now to be a stable molecule it needs to complete its duplet state another hydrogen atom has one electron in its valence shell these two hydrogen atoms share their electrons to form a stable molecule h2 by means of a covalent bond this is an example for non polar covalent bond another example is the formation of nitrogen molecule the nitrogen atom has five electrons in its valence shell it needs another three electrons to complete its octet a nitrogen atom can fill its octet by sharing three electrons with another nitrogen atom forming three covalent bonds a so called triple bond the remaining two electrons on nitrogen atom are called unshared pair or non bonded or lone pair of electrons let us consider another example the formation of methane the carbon atom has four electrons in its valence shell in order to complete its octet carbon atom requires another four electrons the hydrogen atom has one electron in its valence shell four hydrogen atom shares one electron each with carbon atom to form a four covalent bond this way carbon now has a complete octet and all four hydrogen atoms have a complete duplet let us consider the formation of hcl hydrogen requires one electron to complete its duplet and chlorine atom requires one electron to complete its octet when a covalent bond is formed between two different elements like hydrogen and chlorine it is polar in nature because chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen atom therefore electron cloud is shifted towards chlorine atom due to this reason a partial negative charge appeared on chlorine atom and a positive charge on hydrogen atom this is an example for polar covalent bond some other examples of covalent bond are iodine ammonia sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide phosphorus trichloride and water molecules in this session we have learned 
what is a covalent bond types of covalent bond the formation of covalent bond with examples thank you for listening